I'd like to open up a conversation about iconic photographs or iconic imagery and what makes a single image iconic. Obviously through the history of photography we have hundreds and thousands of images that we all know that are printed in history books, they've been analyzed, and they represent points of time in our history that remind us who we are, where we've been, and these might be representative of points of conflict, they might be representative points of social frustration or cultural change. And what is it that makes a single photograph iconic of something like that. And I think this speaks highly to the power of the image and to the power that the image still has, I think, in many ways. And I want to talk about a image in particular, and it is this one. This was taken in Baton Rouge this weekend by a New Orleans-based photographer named Jonathan Bachman. And it is a very strong image. Um, it went viral on social media. It uh, has been written about in several media outlets. And people are kind of asking, is this the next iconic single photograph? Does it summarize the events in the last few weeks, or maybe you could argue the last couple of years in the United States? What's interesting to me is that there have been literally tens of thousands of images that we've been bombarded with over the last couple weeks that are showing us events and how things are, are unfolding. What makes this iconic and some of the others not? And this is a very powerful image. And I think if you strip this down, you can see that it, it's poetic in a sense. And it shows us contrast. That's what this image is about. It's about contrast. It's divided almost directly down the middle of the image. And you have this woman on the right and the police in riot gear on the left. And it's about racial contrast. It's about gender contrast. It's about humanity versus authority. I think if you even look at the body language that's going on here, this woman, uh, this very beautiful woman with this eloquent but very powerful pose, the way the wind on the bottom of the picture is slightly lifting her dress, but her shoulders and upper body indicate that she's not going anywhere. And then it sort of the way the image was taken in that moment, but the police stepping forward, it almost looks as if they're either falling back or they're timidly approaching. And there's a real pattern power that is exuded in this image. Now there has been some controversy over this image in that a couple news outlets have said that you know there are some inaccuracies here and that you don't know exactly what's going on in the situation before the image was taken or what resulted afterwards and there are a lot of people who feel that those things are very important but I think in the terms or in the sense of what makes an image iconic I don't think it's necessarily dependent on one particular situation but is representative of a larger picture and there is a very poor written article in the Atlantic um, that was updated with accuracies as they came up with them but they did interview the photographer and he went on record as saying that he was there this was a peaceful protest um, the gentlemen in the photo are actually state troopers not policemen and they are in riot gear um, mainly because of the events in Dallas a few days prior as a precautionary me measure. And so what is going on in this picture is it is a peaceful protest. The protesters were blocking the highway and the state troopers, it was their job to move them to not disrupt the flow of traffic. And the photographer stated that he was turned around and over his shoulder, and he paraphrased, that he heard this woman say, I'm not going anywhere, they're gonna have to arrest me. And so he turned around with his camera and made this image. Um, the aftermath of this is that it did end peacefully. The woman was not arrested and there was no situation. But the imagery that's involved here um, is very strong and I think it does sum up a lot of the frustrations and a lot of the conflict that has been a big part of the United States over the last few weeks definitely and as I keep saying over the last couple of years and it is a strong image and is it iconic and that's kind of the question that some of the media outlets have been asking you know the truth is is we don't know whether this is an iconic image yet or not because we're still in the moment we don't know what's going to happen next week next year it won't be proven whether it's iconic or not until we're 10 to 20 years in the future and we look back and is that representative of that time and i think that's an interesting question to ask but it's also interesting on this note too, and I've done a lot of talking just coincidentally in the last couple of weeks, and I talked about a project in particular from a French photographer uh, by the name of Catherine Ballet. And it is a wonderful project where she has taken um, historical photographs that are very famous and recreated them down to the T. And the only difference being she has subbed in her friend Ricardo into each one of these photographs, and she's making a statement through this project. This is obviously very conceptual in nature, but her statement that she's making is that the role of photography has in our lives has changed in recent years. And what we look at it now is she uses her friend Ricardo as projecting ourselves into the image. It's a famous photograph we all know. Ricardo is there and that represents the way we are interpreting 
taking that photograph and there's an emphasis on the self that is put on that. And if you look at how this manifests itself in the age of social media where we are, everybody has a camera, everybody thus is a photographer, and what role does photography play in our lives? And that personal nature, what she's saying, is that people who are not photographers, that relationship is now sharing their lives. So that is taking pictures of their kids, or that's taking pictures of their pets, or the events they go to, or their friends. And so there is this definite notion of the self that's projected into the role that photography plays. This is very different from the classic notion of somebody who is a photographer who is studied or trained to be so, and how they are communicating with a viewer. It's a very different relationship with photographs. And so what I'm wondering, and I think this is going to be interesting to see, is how does iconic photography fit into this notion, if this is indeed how we're kind of at a turning point moving forward? Because this image has all the makings of a classic iconic photograph. Uh, it's the way it's composed, the poeticism involved. Um, you know, people say a picture's worth a thousand words is a famous uh, phrase that's used. And it's almost kind of ridiculous because visual language can transcend uh, spoken language or written language in a very different way. For instance, it can be open for interpretation. One person might bring their own frustration and mindset to a photograph that is a very different feeling in what they get out of it than somebody who brings a very different set of frustrations or baggage to that photograph. And so it is open to interpretation in a way that I think that maybe language is less so. Maybe not entirely less so, but less so. And so photographs are very powerful and imagery is very powerful. But what's also interesting is this switch over to people using their phones and social media. And let me leave you with this. There have been two amateur shot videos that have been done in the last two weeks that everyone in the world has seen. They have literally changed everything because they show us the unthinkable. Everybody knows what they are. That's a very different notion than the classic photograph. And so what I wonder is in 20 years, do we look back and those types of videos become the new iconic photograph? Maybe this is totally changing from where we've been. I don't know. Anyway, I'd be interested to get your thoughts on this and I wanna open this as a conversation because I definitely think these are things that we think about as photographers and it's the way we're going. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date, all the latest and greatest. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.